Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. This video that I'm making now I had planned for doing before the summer but because I couldn't film then because of my health I just pushed it, pushed it forward and forward and now it's almost winter and I still haven't made it but I'm gonna make it today and that will be a cover for a suitcase. So I have my suitcase here you can see it, it's rather big and I make a cover for it and I have this beautiful fabric with all kind of colorful uh, parrots uh, and it is a cotton jersey with um, some elastin in it and elastin is the same as lycra, the same as spandex so if you find, can find a, a fabric that has that in it that makes sure that it's very stretchy, four way stretch that is what you want for this uh, suitcase uh, it feels like it uh, also has something else in it but it didn't say so but it feels very smooth and that is nice because usually that you can don't get that easy stains on it um, and it's a cover for your suitcase so that not only um, it protects your suitcase because I have a fabric soft case and it gets stained very easily but also you can recognize your, your suitcase very easily and very quick uh, in the airport, Be uh, especially when you have a black or a dark blue one or even the red that I have, there are so many uh, suitcases that it's very difficult to see which one is yours and you can put uh, such an um, elastic band around it but I heard that the airports don't really like them because they get stuck and things and the employees have very uh, troubles with all those elastic bands around the suitcases so we're gonna make a cover for recognition and for protection of your suitcase uh, what you can also use if you can find a nice uh, cotton uh, lycra like this one you can also use a polyamide lycra and uh, that is the uh, material that you use for athletic wear uh, you can even use uh, fabric that is used for uh, swimwear but feel if it is thick enough because sometimes the fabric isn't really that stiff uh, that, that protective enough for a cover but you can use uh, any fabric that feels very smooth that has four-way stretch and has at least lycra spandex elastin into the fabric so I show you how we're gonna make this and when you've done that you will have something like this Then you put the cover onto the suitcase and see if it is tight enough. And when it's okay you can cut off the seam allowance. Now we're going to close the top part and make sure that the line, that seam will be exactly perpendicular to your side seam and uh, measure that with your ruler because often the cut edges are not perpendicular to the side edges so mark that very well Then put your cover back onto the suitcase and make sure that the seam is in the middle of the side and also the top seam is in the middle of the uh, suitcase. And then we're going to pin these funny corners on the top and match up the seam on the side and on the uh, top of the suitcase and then pin that uh, corner, that wing 
down nicely uh, along this, the top uh, side of your suitcase and you can uh, round that out because then you have a more nice fit but make sure that it's really flat and you can pin it and then later check on your table if it is really nicely flat uh, on all the sides. Then we're going to mark where we want our sides to end, so it's just below that uh, button bumper uh, and you mark that, just so fold the fabric down, put it rather tight and then place a pin there or mark it with a marker, whatever you prefer. Then we will also mark the bottom, so put your um, suitcase on the side and then fold the bottom parts together put it rather tight so that it's nicely stretched out and then mark or pin uh, where the middle is of that uh, cover then transfer the cover to a flat surface and fold it layer doubled and then mark the other side from the seam and mark there also the height for the cutout and then also mark the middle of the cover on the bottom and measure how wide you want the closure to be I make mine half the width of my suitcase and you can make the closure with a zipper or with snaps but when you use the zipper make sure uh, you have the right zipper uh, of that width and then you cut it out in a curve Then it's a bit depending on how you want to finish it. When you finish it with a bias tape or with uh, some elastic, you don't have to cut a seam allowance to it. Uh, but when you want to fold it under and top stitches, then make sure you also uh, cut some seam allowance to it. And for the bottom, when you use the zipper, you only need just a centimeter of uh, seam allowance. But when you want to you, uh, finish it with snaps on the bottom, then make sure you have enough uh, fabric for the overlap. And then you'll have something like this. So I will finish the edges by folding it under and then using a twin needle to top stitch it. So both sides are finished and you see it, the seam still stays stretchy with this uh, twin needle stitch. Make sure that you um, make the hems exactly the width of your zipper so that you can nicely attach that later on that it is exactly the same length as your zipper is. And now we're going to put on our elastic and you measure uh, around the bottom of your um, suitcase how much elastic you need you mark here the other side here is the seam for the double and then mark where exactly the opposite side of your cover is and then you uh, sew on your elastic here where your seam is 
and then going to the other side and sew that on with uh, cross stitching so that it is nicely secured. Going to sew on our zipper and I will just fold it under and then pin it on. You can of course also uh, first sew the zipper uh, on and then top stitch it but you can do it just in one row and I like that more. So just pin it around and make sure that it is tight enough. So pin it on then try it onto your suitcase and see if you maybe need to give it some more seam allowance to get it more tight because it must really sit tightly onto your suitcase. Then again put the cover onto your suitcase and feel with your hands where the handles are uh, here on the side and also on the top you have a handle and the pull bar and feel uh, the width of the uh, handle and the length of the handle and put pins there so that you can cut it out and while cutting out make sure that you uh, uh, include some seam allowance because you have to top stitch them, fold them under and touch top stitch them. And when you've done that, you will have something like this. So now the last thing that I want to do is place these stickers onto the bumpers here.
yourself uh, done. You can see you can just take your, your uh, pull bar. You can also reach all the handles on the sides and on the top. And it is very recognizable in the airport. You don't have to look twice because you will recognize your own fabric. And I have now this nice one with all the parrots. But you can also do a very bright one or a stripe or whatever you like. And whatever you think uh, looks best uh, to find uh, with, in between all the other suitcases. Uh, also with the um, bottom, make sure that you first put your uh, elastic uh, around your suitcase and then the zipper. Because you don't want the elastic to get stuck somewhere and that will annoy all the uh, employees that have to work with your suitcase. And also it can whip your uh, cover when it gets stuck with the elastic. So make sure you put the, uh, the part here with the zipper on top of it. And what you also can do if you are normally traveling just with a carry-on. Or if you don't want to uh, sew. Oh, I have to lift it up, I see. This is a carry-on and I just put a t-shirt on. It is even a small uh, size t-shirt. But it fits a carry-on very good and also that looks very, very nice. And you just tuck in the um, sleeves and you have a very nice uh, cover for your suitcase. So if you like this, you saw this one is very easy and very quick to make. You can make several of them if you like. You can wash them. Uh, when it rips, it doesn't matter. You can easily make a new one and you have a very nice and fancy suitcase. So I hope you liked this video, I hope you liked this sewing class. If you happen to like the dress that I'm wearing, it has a nice hood. I have a sewing tutorial about that, I will leave it up there, there the corner and down in the description box and you can uh, watch that if you like to make it too. So I thank you so much for watching. Nora says bye too. Say bye, that, that side, turn around. Come, come, turn around, even omdraaien, even omdraaien, anders kan je niet zien. No. You just see her butt. Sorry. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you again next time. Bye. Yeah. Bye. Yeah.